today I thought I'd take a look at the Toro Power Curve 1800. It's 1800 because it is 18 inches in width and takes about a foot high of snow. The basic construction of this unit is plastic. There is metal on the um, uprights on the handles in here. This is actually a really good unit if you're looking for something that's lightweight and you wanted to do, say, um, a short walkway, a deck, you know, something where you didn't want to get, um, if you have Belgian blocks or, uh, again, a wooden deck, you didn't want to get it scratched up. Um, you do have to have uh, a long extension cord with it, so you'd have to see how far out you were going to go and then get um, a 2550, 7500 foot uh, extension cord to help you out there. The motor and everything like that is uh, encased, so there's really no maintenance on it. The only downside to this unit is that if you do get heavy, wet, slushy snow, it's really um, inadequate. That said, a can of Teflon or even WD-40 silicone spray goes a long way. If you were to spray the, the shoot of the unit, and the blades that would keep everything moving a little bit better and keep the snow from sticking to it and that does make the unit um, more effective um, I would not recommend this unit if you have a long driveway um, or a lot of sidewalk if you had um, let's say 40 feet of sidewalk in a single car driveway this would probably help you out, again, in light powdery snow, um, keep you from having to use a snow shovel. The basic design on this hasn't changed in well over two decades, so um, it does say that they're doing something right there. Although a little bit more power would certainly go a long way with it. That is a look at the Toro Power Curve 1800. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you later. So, if you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe. Thank you.